redeemed from that list and he can keep his bonus. All right? uh, let me ask you a question here. I want to thank Google for what it did for child pornography getting off the website. I was a prosecutor for 18 years and I find it commendable and I put those people away. So if you can do that with child pornography, why can you not do it on these rogue websites? And, and let me follow that up with why not hire some whiz kids out of college to come in and monitor this and get and, and work for the company to take these off? My daughter, uh, who is 16, and my son is 12, we love to get on uh, the internet and we download music and we pay for it. And I get to a site and I say, this is a new one, this is good, we can get some music here. My daughter says, Dad, don't go near that one. That's illegal, it's free, and given the fact that you're on judiciary, uh, I don't think you should be doing that. <laughs> so it, it, it's pretty, it, uh, she, maybe we need to hire her, but why not? So, so the two problems are similar in that they're both very serious problems. They're both um, things that we all should be working to fight against. Um, but they're very different in how you go about combating it. So for child porn, um, we are able to design a machine that can detect child porn. You can detect um, certain colors that would show up in pornography. You can detect flesh tones. You can have a manual review where someone would look at the content and they would say, this is child porn and it shouldn't appear. Um, we can't do that for copyright just on our own because any video, any clip of content, it's going to appear to the user to be the same thing. And so you need to know from the rights holder, the owner of the right, have you licensed it, have you authorized it, or is this infringement? I only have a little bit of time here, and, and, and I, I appreciate your answer, but we have the technology. Google has the technology. We have the, the, the brain power in this country. We certainly can, can figure it out. Uh, let me move on here. Uh, first of all, Mr. Clark and Mr. O'Leary, I want to thank you for your dedication to law enforcement. Uh, I, I've been down there for 18 years, and thank you so much. And Mr. Almeida, my father was a fireman for 30 years, so I know exactly what you're talking about. So I want to pose this question to anyone. It's my understanding that taking down a portion of the site is much more difficult than taking down the entire site. Uh, so I'm hearing from the testimony here. So is there a more balanced approach? that we can assist you in taking, but you take the lead on it in diffusing this problem and uh, stopping this infringement on this material, that this illegal stealing of our materials that uh, is costing us jobs and costing this country a lot of money. If you understand my question, please jump in, anyone. I don't think anyone understands my question. So. <laughs> Well, uh, no, I appreciate the question. I don't know the answer. If, if certainly, if uh, when when law enforcement goes before a judge and tries to get a court order that would allow it to seek relief from the website and then engage the search engines, the ISPs, the payment processors, etc., to help, um, they uh, they sh they would like to stop the infringing material and not the non-infringing material. I don't know if it's a technical solution or if it's just a question of each website having different pages where they can easily find the infringing content. Do any of you agree with me that we do have the brain power and the technology available to figure this out if we want to spend the money? All right. Thank you, and I yield back my time. Uh, great. Gentlemen's time's up. Uh, Mr. Amaday, you're recognized for the last five minutes of this hearing.